2018 Lexus RC Review. The good points of Lexus RC. Head turning styling means you'll jump out in a crowd. Interior quality and materials are top rare. Smoothness and refinement outstanding in hybrid version. The bad points of Lexus RC. Aged infotainment system and controls. Interior ergonomics also believe off the pace. Not the sharpest driving coupe for the extra bucks. In a niche crammed with capable and desirable premium coupes, for example the Audi A5 coupe, BMW 4 Series coupe and Mercedes-Benz class coupe, if could be easy to ignore the Lexus RC. And yet, it shouldn't be, it offers dramatic styling, is sold with cutting-edge hybrid tech, which is sold by the company that's legendary for the customer service and reliability. There are simply just three Lexus LC models from which to choose, making the decision easier than it could possibly be if you're choosing from your sprawling variety of models available from Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz. But that's no bad thing, as long as you're not seeking a diesel. Instead there's a straight choice from a 2.0-liter turbo petrol, badged RC 200 tons, along with a petrol electric hybrid alternative the RC 300 hours. Lexus dipped out of your diesel market a little while back, following on on the slow selling and disappointing previous generation is. If brawny performance is a bit more your thing then hunt your RCF. Daring Lexus RC Coupe styling. Where to get started on on that score? There's no denying how the RC's bold appearance should make an effect in the company recreation area. There's a large, Aggressive interpretation of Lexus's trademark spindle grille, menacing LED-equipped headlights, a bulbous bonnet and sleek lines that intersect one another along the RC's flanks. Move around the RCF, and things get more exciting visually. Just one look into the bulging bonnet, creased flanks and quad exhaust outlets is sufficient to tell you this car has enough attitude to look toe at auto using the BMW M4 and Dowdy RS5. Even if Lexus only sells around 200 degrees of the RCF inside the UK annually. Three engines, a massive range in power as well as. For an entry-level model, the RC 200 tons creates a good be the cause of itself, outgunning the 300 hours through the lights as well as the top end. It's the significance champion on the range, effective at sprinting from 062 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds. But Lexus expects more customers to become drawn for the RC 300 hours as greater efficiency. While the hybrid version's no slouch, you will need 8.6 seconds to arrive at 62 miles per hour from the standstill. It provides far superior fuel economy at nearly acclaimed 57.6 miles per gallon weighed against 38.7 miles per gallon with the RC 200 tons. Consequently the RC 300 hours S CO2 emissions are as little as 113 GKM, the petrol only model being greater at 168 GKM. The RCF can be something else entirely. Its naturally aspirated V8 petrol, is a sizable 5.0 liter capacity, and develops 475 horsepower, turning it into the most powerful V8 engine Lexus has available. It's shared together with the previous generation is F, but is Euro 6 compliant and creates CO2 emissions of 252 GKM and combined economy of 26.2 miles per gallon. The RCF gets from 062 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds before finishing its run with an electronically limited 168 miles per hour. You do have to work the auto hard to get there though as peak power doesn't arrive until 7,100 revolutions per minute and peak torque 530 Nm is just available from 4,800 revolutions per minute. Autunly transmissions for the RC. Both the 200 hours and 300 hours have automatic transmissions as standard, and 8 speed to the 200 tons as well as a CVE gearbox to the 300 hours necessary mainly because it promotes efficiency. Lexus has tuned the RC more for comfort than sportiness, so in retrospect the hybrid version, which consists of smoother drivetrain and supple ride, would be the more satisfying from the two. The RCF has an 8-speed automatic gearbox that may help you take advantage of its power, 
although the box is slow to switch down especially which enables it to be below smooth under full throttle upshifts. At least the glorious engine noise, one's only a minute percentage is piped into the cabin, definitely makes the effort required with the driver seem worthwhile. Lexus RC Interior, Object Lesson in Quality. The interior is quite well built and is also finished in many fine materials, using the softest of leather. All in the plastics feel and look expensive whilst the seats are incredibly comfortable and supportive. The rears are cramped, though, which is for being expected in the coupe along these lines. The cabin owes much on the is with all the same dashboard fronting a cozier cabin. The back seats shaped for a few with a storage facility relating to the chairs. Three specification levels take prescription offer, focusing on comfort are luxury RC 300 hours only and premier, as you move the F Sport takes cues, such as the enormous mesh grille, on the RCF. Whichever you ultimately choose you'll find front and back parking sensors, cruise control, a 7.0 inch infotainment screen, an electrically adjustable steering column, dual zone climate control and lead head and tail lamps. The RCF is very well equipped as standard, those leather seats may also be electrically adjustable and both heated and cooled, opt for the carbon edition and leather is complemented by Alcantara. The Satanov is controlled by the touchpad controller around the transmission tunnel. Standard equipment about the Lexus RC. A 10-speaker Pioneer head unit is fitted as standard towards the RCF which enable it to be swapped for the premium Mark Levinson system with 17 speakers, both provide a system to boost the sound of compressed digital music files like MP3S. Safety is dealt with with 8 airbags, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert and automatic high beam headlights, while a pre-crash safety technique is available as a possible option. Choose an RCF carbon and along with all the torque vectoring differential, Mark Levines and Hi-Fi and also the Alcantara seats the auto benefits from carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP bonnet, boot and roof panels to lower weight. Three power options but neither can be a diesel. Hybrid RC 300 hours S emissions from 113 GKM. Turbocharged RC 200 tons offers more speed. RCF is usually a giant killer in a very straight line. In market where inside the region of 50% of sales head to diesel engine coupes, your decision not to deliver a Lexus RC performance basic a power plant is often a bold one. Leaving the rapid Lexus RCF aside, there's a range of two alternatives, a sportier petrol only version and also a petrol electric hybrid. Hybrid power rain for efficiency. In the absence of a diesel, Lexus is continuing to plow a furrow having a petrol electric hybrid RC 300 hours taking for the mantle of efficiency champion. It's not the initial hybrid coupe being sold in Britain, that honor fell to Honda's insight in 2000, but it's the first inside the premium segment. A non-turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder petrol engines paired having a 650 volts electric motor creating a combined 217 horsepower. In the interests of efficiency the RC 300 hours s top speed is simply 118 miles per hour the instantaneous nature of torque and the electric motor negates deficiency of a turbo with the engine the combined unit producing 221 newton meters from 4 comma 2005 400 revolutions per minute it's consequently a CVT automatic gearbox is equipped because it's the best method of keeping the engine working at higher speeds but only when necessary, hence the sudden burst of engine noise while you accelerate. It's enough for you. The RC 300 hours from 062 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds. As an efficiency package it truly does work too. Lexus claims the RC 300 hours luxury, riding on 18-inch wheels will average 57.6 miles per gallon with emissions of 113 gkm of CO2. Turbocharged petrol for performance. If you fancy your Lexus coupe with additional pep rolling around in its performance, then this RC 200 tons would be the one to visit for. Under the bonnet is often a turbocharged 2-liter, 
four cylinder engine making a useful 243 horsepower at 5,800 revolutions per minute. That's enough to propel the RC on to 143 miles per hour, while using wind from the turbo apparent as being the revs rise. It's a torquey unit too, with 350 newton meters your right foot's disposal from just 1,650 revolutions per minute, small down within the rev range. That peak figure is available by means of 4,400 revolutions per minute too making it possible for rapid overtaking in addition to benefiting the 7.5 second 062 miles per hour time. Like the 300 hours, the 200 tons is available with an automated gearbox, in such cases an 8-speed sports direct shift transmission. Up and down changes are smoothly actioned but left to a device as it changes up a ratio sooner than you'd want during harder acceleration, even here Lexus continues to have an eye on efficiency. However with claims of 38.7 miles per gallon and 168 gkm of CO2 it's not immediately apparent. Lexus RCF, 475 horsepower of usable performance. Back to back that has a BMW M4, Lexus RCF performance most likely are not all that impressive, thanks to your naturally aspirated engine and high up narrow banded power delivery in the Japanese model. It's a harder car to assemble speed within its German rival. To get the best in the RCF, you must rev as regularly to near its 7,100 revolutions per minute power peak. The action really starts at 4,800 revolutions per minute, where it delivers its peak torque of 530 newton meters. This needs means you really have to be inside the correct gear if you need to make good progress. This is usually rather frustrating because the automatic is slow to react and makes multiple down changes as opposed to block shifting like the best with the rival's twin clutch setups. Make no mistake, a faster, more faithfully reactive gearbox could transform this car. The V8 delivers an addictive drive. For all the though, the naturally aspirated 5.0-liter V8 engine is undoubtedly an absolute delight to use, in terms of soundtrack and punch. It makes all the most fantastic old school noise if your exhaust's butterfly valves open beyond 3,500 revolutions per minute. Addictively so. There are a few extra engine notes filtered through to your cabin, but they're not the synthesized sound utilized by BMW. And it gathers speed convincingly too, with huge refinement. The 062 miles per hour dash takes just 4.5 seconds while the highest speed is artificially restricted to 168 miles per hour but it's clearly a soothing enough car they are driving slowly, using a docile throttle response as well as a smooth shifting gearbox. But they are driving it quickly, making the most from the power offered, requires some work and commitment in the person behind the tire. Not as sporty to drive as being the looks suggest. Hybrid incorporates a comfortable handling balance, steering not as much as BMW standards. All the constituents are there to bless the Lexus RC with handling prowess, gutsy engines to encourage this rear wheel drive car for being playful through corners, a compressed coupe body shell that screams drive me and our fondness for your range topping RCF version. Somehow it conspires to disappoint, particularly RC 200 tons guys which doesn't really match the brief to be a sports coupe or even a rapid grand tourer. Hybrid's comfort makes it as pleasing. There's some other feel for the 200 tons and 300 hours, partially due to different tuning from the suspension dampers, the hardware is identical, along with the Hybrid's balanced 50 hours 50 minutes weight distribution thanks to your batteries located towards back with the car. In fact, despite its reduced urgency, the RC 300 hours may be the more satisfying in the pair, a lot more fit for purpose plus tune with Lexus's comfort focused mantra. There's much more of a supple bias on the suspension's compliance, turning it into a relaxed and efficient cruiser, with easier access towards the drivetrain's performance once the drive mode select switched to sport. Selecting an F Sport derivative brings adaptive suspension on the dynamic mix in addition to a Sport S Plus mode for firmer springing. 
it sharpens the RC's responses so that it is feel less inclined to roll through corners. What's more, it alters the instrument panel display as well as the slight level of augmented sound piped in the cabin. Grippy handling but lacks rivals numbers of involvement. Grip levels remain at the top of both versions, which ultimately helps make the RC 200 tons less wieldy just as one enthusiast's choice. 2. Sending lots of torque to your rear wheels while you power in a bend doesn't unstick the Lexus's tail watcherly within the way a 4 series or class coupe would. Neither should it feel more engaging compared to the RC 300 hours, quicker yes, but get rid of involving, as well as in this segment, that can put off buyers who are sampling the Lexus and comparing it together with the BMW and Mercedes-Benz alternatives. Where greater emphasis could be felt is via the steering. Again, it doesn't deliver a similar degree of communication regarding how much grip the leading wheels have because you press on by having a corner being a 4 series. Lexus buyers switching towards the RC from a more mature saloon would feel in the home in this accurate and predictable coupe. How does the Lexus RCF handle? The Lexus RCF is not much of a light car, with a lot of models coming in around 1,800 kg. And no chow and egg show up intricate chassis systems are engaged it can't entirely combat the laws of physics. On the track, admittedly a place many RCF owners won't explore, there's no escaping that heft when cornering. In the dry the Lexus displays a good amount of grip something not obvious in their turbocharged rivals. When you get a corner end to slide, the RCF does so in the entirely predictable manner, despite the fact that you'll have been quick to manage the resulting slide it's not frantic. The RCF stork vectoring explained. The vehicle dynamics integrated management VDIM system will give you four different modes use. Normal does what it really says for the tin. Sport racetrack settings for your traction control. ABS and stability system. Off, you're alone. Expert, like off, but that has a safety net developed to aid the prevention of a spin. The optional torque vectoring differential TVD, standard within the RCF carbon, adds another three modes to your vehicle's responses with standard, slalom and track options. As a default, the standard mode settles faithfully involving the optimum agility and stability while slalom increases agility and sharpness of turning, and track increases high-speed cornering stability. High quantities of interior fit and finished. Variety of controls definitely makes the cabin look busy. Comfortable driving position, fine visibility. The Lexus RC comprehensively delivers in this particular area. Although it's essentially a direct lift on the Lexus's saloon's dashboard, nevertheless looks and feels impressive well suited to your rakish lines from the bodywork. Criticisms of the USB ports are few but primarily concentrated upon the switch gear and infotainment. The center console houses buttons, a rotating knob as well as a touch-sensitive clickable pad for your infotainment system. That inside of it is clunky to utilize, marred further by outmoded Satan of graphics. Finding the perfect driving position from the RC is not difficult. There's a wide selection of adjustment for the front seats and also the steering column adjusts for reach and angle electrically. Visibility's fine, with large exterior mirrors attached to pods affording an obvious view of what's behind. As you'd expect with this price, a reversing camera's standard. Electronic instruments, traditional materials. All RCs have electronic displays with regards to instrumentation. The F Sport versions mimicking the LFA Supercar's dials. Turn it around Sport S Plus mode along with the central dial glows more red as being the revs rise. There's a refreshing mix of materials, with Alcantara, perforated leather and plain leather enhanced with blue, white or black accents. If you select the red leather seats some scarlet stitching appears, too. The cabin plastics mix carbon effect with textured and brushed materials through the layered structure from the dashboard. There's no questioning the quality with the materials, with everything feeling reassuringly expensive to your touch. Each piece of switch gear operates faultlessly. That said, the trackpad central controller isn't as intuitive or as all too easy to use around the fly as rival manufacturer systems with rotary controllers. 
Subble ride even on standard suspension. Adaptive dampers amplify comfort further. Hushed powertrains and superb front seats. Although its looks hint at performance and aggression, unfortunately Lexus RC comfort levels weren't compromised. It's hard not to get impressed by how supple and well judged the RC's ride is, both on standard suspension along with the adaptive dampers that come as part with the F Sport package. Even about the firmest Sport S Plus setting the Lexus still absorbs ruts and ripples within the road surface with no trouble, transmitting little on the disturbance to your occupants' posteriors. The interior benefits coming from a pair of very comfortable front seats with a large degree of electrical adjustment. Those within the back are less fortunate, a set of adults can integrate but it's recommended to maintain your journeys short when performing so. They're much better suited to children. A coupe that's as refined as being a saloon. Wind and tire noise are impressively hushed, as could be the 2.0-liter engine from the RC 200 tons, press on and also the whine from the turbo becomes apparent but not inside a detracting way. In most instances the hybrid RC 300 hours is serenely quiet, hardly ever marred through the high-pitched engine note caused through the CVT gearbox's tendency to maintain the motor spinning at higher revs when accelerating. The RCF is additionally very refined with regards to its rivals. It's entirely compliant and comfy despite the large alloy wheels, with impressive suspension response and composure. High gearing means motorway cruise vacations are hushed and relaxing. Along with decent wind no ice suppression, it's almost eerily quiet actually. Three grades, luxury, F Sport and Premier. Generously appointed lineup. Very limited array of options available. The standard RC is available in three familiar Lexus trim numbers of luxury 300 hours only, F Sport and Premier. The generosity on the standard numbers of equipment means options few and far between, bucking the premium sector trend. Standard Lexus RC Coupe equipment. Only obtainable in high bride powered RC 300 hours form. The luxury model comes full of 18-inch alloy wheels, parking sensors front and back, cruise control, electrically folding and heated door mirrors, automatic wipers and LED headlamps. Inside, there's dual-zone climate control, a 6-speaker stereo audio with DAB radio, a 7-inch infotainment screen controlled by Lexus's slightly fiddly remote touch controller electric adjustment on the steering column and heated front seats and also a cabin swathed in leather. Safety kit includes eight airbags, a pop-up pedestrian-friendly bonnet and automatic hold whenever you remain in traffic on the hill. F-Sport trim upgrades. Progress to your more overtly styled F-Sport versions and you'll immediately spot the mesh grille treatment for that spindle-shaped opening, deeper back and front bumpers. 19-inch alloy wheels plus much more advanced LED headlamps with automatic main beam function. Active suspension can be part with the F Sport package. Climb aboard an RC F Sport to understand the figura hugging sport seats, aluminium pedals and scuff plates and instruments mimicking those for the Lexus LFA Supercar. Flagship in the RC lineup, and building upon the luxury's looks and specification, could be the Premier. It's distinguished by way of a different style of 19-inch alloy wheels, an aftermarket Satan of system, even though graphics look decidedly 2006, an exceptional 17-speaker Mark Levins and surround speakers, the uprated LED headlamps with automatic main beam, plus blind spot and lane departure warning functions. Optional Lexus RC Coupe Extras Lexus's policy is actually you want more equipment than you definitely progress around the next level trim level in lieu of specify individual options. That said, you are able to upgrade individual portions of equipment to the luxury and F Sport models through the Premier's kit list. Choosing the RC Premier doesn't preclude you adding optional extras but there's not just a lot available when personalizing the coupe. Adaptive cruise control costs extra. On try it operated smoothly and consistently well, our only gripe being which it was a little slow-witted resuming towards the preset speed if the vehicle in front got out of your way. Bolstering the RC's out watch eye impressive raft of safety equipment is usually a pre-crash system, built to monitor the path ahead on the car for other vehicles and pedestrians.
If the onboard radars detect an imminent impact visual and audible warnings alert the trucker, before automatically applying maximum force for the brakes when they fails to act. Lexus believes there's sufficient demand to warrant the available appointments of an electrically operated glass sunroof. There's a towpiece blind to cover the glazed panel if desired, but which has a superb dual-zone climate control system as standard, we'd leave the sunroof option alone. Lexus RCF Trim, Specs and Equipment There are just two types of RCF to select from, the common RCF and also the RCF Carbon, with prices with the former starting about the £60,000 mark, meaning whatever model you ultimately choose it'll be well equipped. Standard Lexus RCF Coupe Equipment As standard, your vehicle rides on 19-inch alloy wheels and possesses LED headlights coupled with LED daytime running lamps and taillights. The spoiler rises in the air flow at speeds above 50 miles per hour, and retracts automatically when you finally slip below 25 miles per hour again unless in eco mode, gets hot or won't deploy until 81 miles per hour, whilst the oversized front grille includes a special FMOTIF mesh design. Choose the carbon edition and you lad special 19-inch alloy wheels with bespoke design plus a carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP bonnet, roof and rear spoiler. Inside even the typical car feels lavish, as a result of high back sports seats finished in semi-nylon leather electrically adjustable naturally that both are heated and cooled, aluminium pedals and special F sport tire and gear lever. There's colored contrast stitching everywhere. And within the carbon model the seats are finished in Alcantara instead. The RCF can be fitted with cruise control, automatic wipers and headlights with higher beam assist, keyless start and dual zone climate control. Each model is sold with a 7.0 inch multimedia screen there's additionally a 4.2 inch screen from the main instrument binnacle, Satanov, Bluetooth and also a 10 speaker Pioneer stereo with DAB. The 17-speaker Mark Levins and strategy is standard for the carbon model. A reversing camera, hill start assist, land keeping warning and reverse cross assist which alerts the driving force to any traffic when reversing beyond a blind parking space. Blind spot monitor and front and back parking sensors take the pain outside of driving. Optional Lexus RCF Coupe Extras you could only really include a pre-crash safety system with adaptive cruise control, a sunroof not around the carbon-roofed models, and metallic paint. That, and also the torque vectoring differential, which you may add to your standard car along with all the upgraded 17-speaker stereo. These are generally standard for the carbon model, though. Should achieve top Euro and cap score, when it's tested. Wide assortment of driver assistance packages available. Both front seat occupants have knee airbags. Although Lexus RC safety hasn't been verified from the experts at Euro and Cap, its sibling, the Ish Saloon, received a 5 star rating if it was tested in 2013. Every Lexus RC has 8 airbags, including knee bags for both front seat occupants, a suite of electronic systems to bolster braking and handling capabilities, tire pressure monitors, automatic main beam. A couple of ice fix child seat mounting points inside the back along with a pop-up bonnet to aid cushion pedestrians within the event of a frontal impact. The body shell has become constructed from high tensile steel where possible, meant to dissipate any impact loads within the event associated with an accident reducing cabin deformation as small as possible. There are many other systems open to further reduce the chances of your RC being involved within an accident. Pre-crash safety technique is an option on premier specification RCs and uses radar to monitor the street ahead with the car, warning the motive force if it senses a collision is imminent and automatically braking if this is deemed necessary. The same method is also used with the adaptive cruise control option, maintaining the RC's distance to your vehicle in front, before returning towards the preset speed whenever we can. Radars are employed to the blind spot monitor system warning drivers of traffic from behind that could not have been seen within the rear view mirrors. They may also be utilized with the rear cross traffic alert warning drivers of oncoming vehicles through the sides when you reverse beyond spaces. Hybrids batteries compromise boot space. Rivals offer greater practicality.
restricted rear seat space. The Lexus RC's practicality is limited through the rakish coupe styling. Passengers beforehand are likely to have little to complain about but two adults relegated towards the back seats are likely to get less enamored from the experience. It's all beautifully trimmed but headroom is compromised from the tapering roof line and legrooms for the tight side, too, particularly together with the front seats slid rearwards. In relating to the rear seats is really a central storage space. Whilst the seat backs are split 6040 to provide a level of flexibility when hauling longer loads. How much boot space you have at the disposal is dependent upon which version on the RC going for. Take the conventional RC 200 tons and their 374 liters of space available however the batteries beneath the floor in the 300 hours hybrid reduce that total to 340 liters however the seats don't fold and only present you with a load through sky hatch facility. Both figures are significantly short with the space on offer within the trio of German rivals, the BMW 4 Series Coupe offers 445 liters. The recently launched Mercedes-Benz class coupe musters 450 liters as you move the Audi A5 coupe's 455 liter total will be the most generous with this company. Elsewhere the cabins peppered with sensibly sized storage bins, easy to get at cup holders and also a large glove box.